Good afternoon. I'm Jessica Gadete. A mother charged with the death of her young daughter says it was an accident. According to a criminal complaint, 27-year-old Stephanie Pignon told police she was rushed and forgot her two-year-old was in the minivan. We're told the child was in the van with the windows rolled up for more than two hours while Pignon and one of her siblings were at an appointment yesterday at the Southwestern Indian Polytechnic Institute near Coors and Paseo. When Pignon returned, she found the child was purple and vomiting. Workers inside a campus daycare gave her CPR while waiting for paramedics, but she died at a Westside hospital. Pignon is charged with child abuse resulting in death. Obviously, kids and hot cars don't mix. Soaring temperatures inside a car are not only deadly, they can also have lasting effects on kids who survive, including brain damage and heart defects. As News 13's Kayla McCarthy reports, experts say it only takes minutes for heat stroke to set in. Outside the country club market on coal yesterday, a News 13 crew noticed three young kids in the back seat of a blue sedan. The windows were rolled up and the air conditioning wasn't on. Just as we drove up, the parents arrived. Investigative reporter Larry Barker was there. The parents came out saying they were only inside for a few minutes. We just were stopping like that to get out. Push. There is the grandma. Yeah, but you have to family then drove off. Doctors say even a few minutes inside a hot, closed-up car can lead to heat stroke. Their temperature then, then shoots up and their heart rate goes up and then they develop full-blown heat stroke and they can die within minutes. Infants and toddlers like two-year-old Giselle Pignon who died yesterday are the most susceptible. With infants it's even more of a risk because they they sweat less, their sweating capacity is not there and also they uh, they absorb more heat on a hot day than adults. I did my own experiment. Pulling up to the store, the temperature is at 86 degrees right now. We'll see where it is in 10 minutes. In just 10 minutes, the car's temperature rose to about 96 degrees, 10 degrees higher than it was when we left the car. Now, just sitting in the car, you can feel how stifling the heat is, so you can only imagine what would happen if a child were inside in this hot car. Within that time, you know, bad things can happen with heat stroke and, and kids die within that short amount of time. In Albuquerque, Caitlin McCarthy, KRQE News 13. Dr. Cordero says symptoms of heat stroke include nausea, vomiting, fatigue, disorientation and dizziness.